Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. In the last episode, we pretty much did all of the Dawn Guard stuff, again, for the vampires, as I'm calling it. The Dawn Guard stuff, but you know what I mean. It's, 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 it's the Dawn Guard DLC, but we're doing the vampire side. We got the Ring of the Erudite, which is pretty powerful, gives us a bonus 100 Magicka, and also gives us bonus Magicka Regeneration. Not sure if the Magicka Regeneration stacks, but either way, 100 bonus Magicka, that's... It's like 10 levels. That's 10, that's 10 levels. Like, wow. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy good. Uh, we also got the Ring of the Beast, which gives us 100 health. Same thing. And also, like, 20 more damage on our claw attacks or something like that. Uh, and we finally got the quest to kill off the Dawn Guard, which we just did. So we're returning, and I think this is the last thing we're going to do. I think when I looked this up online, there was literally nothing else uh, unique. I think if we do more quests for these vampires, it's all going to be stuff we've already done. And even if it's not, it's just radiant, boring, not unimportant quests. So let's return to Garen. Uh, I saw more than enough political maneuvering in my time in house dress. I was tired of it then, and I'm tired of it now. All this guy talks about is how tired he is of political maneuverings. That's fine, dude. I get it. I've killed the Dawn Guard leaders. Excellent. That should prevent the problem from escalating. Though, they are a rebellious and determined lot. While you've severed the snake's head, the body will likely writhe a while longer. Okay, so we can say, what can I do to help, but we're not. Until next time. We have spent far more than enough time on these quests. We are going to move on to something entirely different. Wait, give me the give me the Bloodstone Chalice. Okay, well, we have the uh, extended duration effect of the Bloodstone Chalice, so I guess we have to wait till that runs out to be able to use it again. Now, as far as the Dawn Guard goes, I think the only remaining thing we have to do is to go to the Soul Cairn, and I believe there are two quests to do in there. One is involving the horse Arvac. That might be wrong, but it's close to that name. And the other one is involving the first man you see when you play the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, Jub, uh, J-I-U-B. He meets you on the ship. He's literally the first guy you see. Uh, there's a quest for him. Both of those quests are sort of unimportant where I am right now, but this is a 100% playthrough, so we will be doing them. Do I want to do them now, though? I kind of want to shift gears, because we have been on Dawn Guard for quite a while. So yes, I think we will be shifting gears. Let's take a look at our quest and see what we have. We have Alduin's Wall, which is a big main quest. We have No Stone Unturned, which I probably will be grinding out on stream at some point, and then uploading to YouTube, uh, because this is just finding 24 stones around Skyrim. Uh, we have the Dark Brotherhood Forever, which is a quest that never ends. We have Jazargo's exper Experiment, which I really need to remember to do. Dang it, I need to like just have a post-it note and put it on my monitor. Uh, we need to use those Flame Cloak spells on the undead. Do we even have those, or do we only have one? We should have... Yes, we have those. Okay, so next time we see Draugr, make a mental note, Vaughn, and right now, put it into your brain. Etch it. Etch it into your brain. Next time we see Draugr, use the damn Flame Cloak spells. Okay, um... So yes, that's not a significant quest at all. Shalador's Insights. I think that's a part of Dawn Guard. Maybe? No. I think that's just a Mage Guild side quest. Uh, that's, yeah, most of these are fetch quests and not important. Dragonborn, of course, is the big DLC. And then we have a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff, which we are not going to be doing at the moment. Okay, that's good, because I kind of wanted to shift gears to the main quest. It's been quite a while since we've done anything with the main quest. Uh, so we're going to do that. We've been doing them interdispersed, interdispersed, whatever the correct word is. We've been doing the main quests in between all of the uh, other episodes and, and stuff. Well, not in between, because they're in the episode, but you know what I mean, damn it. Uh, Alduin's Wall. I found the Blade's lore master Esbern and brought him to Riverwood to talk to Delphine. He believes that the secret to defeating Alduin will be revealed by Alduin's Wall, an artifact created by the Ancient Blades. We need to go to Skyhaven Temple to find Alduin's Wall and see what it can tell us. Gain entrance to Skyhaven Temple. I believe the last time... Oh, you know what I just realized? They're not gonna really like seeing me turn into a vampire lord, most likely. In fact, they think they might attack me on sight if I do that, which of course can't happen because I kind of need them to, uh, kind of need them to let me do the main quest, you know what I mean? So, okay, we have a dragon. It looks like an elder dragon. Uh, we're gonna fire one little shot at him if we can see him. It's probably not gonna, oh, it's a blood dragon. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, that hit and we did a crazy amount. 
will kind of want to follow up on that now and get my vampire or get my whoa there's there are two dragons here okay I wonder if we killed it all the way over there I'm not gonna waste y'all's time by trying to kill that thing but hopefully he comes near me maybe shadow is rushing to go attack him uh, but man that was a crazy amount of damage for a blood dragon wow and also we're in the daytime so we should probably wait oh come on oh my god there we go only took three tries that's quite all right okay the dragon is around me somewhere hi hi okay i want to kill you yes if you could if you could stop aggroing everything under the sun and just aggro me look at, oh wow there's two dragons i've never i don't know if i've ever seen two dragons at once i keep saying i've never seen things and i don't think that's the case because like i played a lot okay that didn't deal nearly as much damage what yeah attack ah what is going on? Oh my god. Okay, this is not good. <laughs> what the hell have we found ourselves into? Okay, uh, we need to like get into shelter right now. Uh, we are not in a position to fight some dragons in the daytime as a vampire. That's not going to happen. And what's going on down here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at all these blips. I think I said blips because I was thinking glyphs and blips. I don't know. Anyways, this is... Okay, we need to turn into a vampire lord. That's what needs to happen right now. Okay, and we need to start killing everybody. And hopefully, you can charge your right hand. God, I hate that. No, stop complaining. I said in the last episode, I'd, I'd, I'd make a conscious effort to stop complaining. But seriously, though, that, that charge up animation is so weird and so, like, contradictory to what it feels like it should be. Uh, anyways, we should hopefully at least get super close to our last... Oh, look at this. It's even glitching. It's saying two cards fire, even though we're not anywhere near that cave entrance. Okay, come on now. Okay. And then you over there. Oh, my God. This is the craziest fight that I have ever been in in Skyrim. Oh! That was Esburn. Whoops. <laughs> well, obviously, he can't die, so that's quite all right. Uh, let's move on over here. I really don't like... Oh, there's... And she is attacking me. Look at this. She's attacking me. I could use a hand here. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we'll continue to kill all these people. And hopefully Delphine will chill out. Maybe. Hopefully they just don't... I mean, they can't kill me, obviously. But hopefully they just don't uh, steal my kills. I mean, th this is game-breaking if she continues to be aggroed against me. So hopefully that's not the case. But we shall see eventually. Let's just finish off all the Forsworn. Okay, we got more up here. And I don't like that it's, it keeps saying to the card spire. I really don't like that because that makes me think it's going to glitch out at some point. Okay, let's see. All we have left is Delphine, I think, and Esbern somewhere down there. Um, I know in Oblivion, if you have your bow out, or if you have your weapon out and you put that away, uh, you have a chance to... <laughs> nice slash there. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna revert form and just cross my fingers and hope that this works. Like I said, this would be game-breaking if you if she's just aggroed onto you the whole time. Okay, she's still attacking me. She is. Okay, stop. Stop. What is going on here? Uh, okay, well, let's not get killed by her. How about that? Um... I don't know what to do here. Esburn's attacking me too with fireball, it looks like. See, like I was saying, in Oblivion, if you if you have someone aggroed onto you that you don't want them to be aggroed onto, you know what though? We can't kill them though. Oh, okay, okay. Looks like they're unaggroed. All right, so we're not going to go into. Okay, yes, we're not going to go into. Uh, <laughs> why did that work? Uh, okay, my. Wow. Let me take a step back. I am all over the place right now. That was the craziest fight I have ever seen in Skyrim. Not only did we have Esbern and Delphine, but we had two blood dragons and then like the biggest Forsworn army ever. Uh, I guess before they were destroyed as a as a group. Holy crap. So what I was trying to say is that in Oblivion, I know that if people aggroed onto you that you didn't want, such as guards, you could sheath your weapon and like press X on them and they would talk to you if it was like a guard if it was someone that would forgive you or something uh in this game i don't know if there's anything like that i've never done it but maybe i just haven't tried it okay 
These pillars must have something to do with it. Oh man, I am not remembering this. These are Akaviri symbols. Here, let's see. You have the symbol for king and the warrior. Of course, the symbol for dragon. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing downward at the bottom. Okay, so that's the Dragonborn one, this is the Warrior, and this is the King or something. I am not remembering this at all. Man, it's been a long time. I think I might have only done the main quest one time, and then I've just never finished on any subsequent, uh, subsequent playthroughs. So yeah, I am not remembering this at all. That's kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. Well, we can turn these, obviously. Okay, so I think... Is it just this easy where we just turn it to the dawn? Yes, that's it. The symbol on the middle pillar. Wow, and they even give you hints? Okay, the symbol of the dragonborn is what I mean. Is it really that... Given Come on, that Skyhaven Skyhaven temple Is see it that easy? Oh. I will try turning all the pillars to that symbol. No shit, dude. Whatever you did, it worked. Let's see what those old blades left. Oh my god, you know it's an easy puzzle if I don't get tripped up on it. <laughs> While in let's play mode. Jesus. God, that's just sad. I'm sorry. Wait. That is just sad. Oh. Why are you stopping? We should be careful here. See these symbols on the floor? Mm. Esbern's right. Look like pressure plates. We'll cross once it's safe. Huh, I wonder what I need to do. Do I need to step on the dragonborn ones? Wow. Okay, like, even if... Even if they set this up, whoever set this up, the Akaviri, I guess, or whatever, why would they make it the same the same theme every time? Like, all someone has to do is discover this place is related to the dragonborn. And then... And then figure out this is the symbol, and then just only, you know... Be careful. Follow the symbol. Like, wh what? Oh my god, sometimes I just feel like Bethesda thinks like everyone is 12 years old and they can't solve a decent puzzle. Come on now. Okay, well, there's that. I mean, it's cool, don't get me wrong, because this is unique. Like, we haven't seen a dungeon like this before with these specific types of bridges and these puzzles well the rotating pillars we've seen and the pressure plates we've seen but like it's cool that it's different but it's just it's just way too easy like the, like why even make a puzzle if it's just that easy i don't understand anyways ooh ooh that's probably the thumbnail yeah Wonderful. remarkably well preserved too well y'all not even going to look in this chest Steel Greatsword of Cowardice. We're running pretty low on carry weight again, though, so I think we're going to have to... Ooh, there's our first, like, Daedric weapon, I think. Maybe. One of the first that's just in a, you know, in a random loot chest. Okay. All right. I want to look at this face, so I'm going to try and grab a thumbnail really quick. <laughs> no, why do I keep doing the brightness? Hut opacity all the way down. Then, before they start talking or something, I want to just get a good... Yeah, right there. That's going to be a good thumbnail. Okay, back to settings, display, HUD opacity. Turn that baby all the way back up. And what do we have here, uh, Esbern? Here's the blood seal. Capillary arts. No doubt it's triggered by, well, blood. Your blood, Dragonborn. Look here. You see how the ancient blades revered Riemann Cyrodiil? No. What are you talking about? Where'd we get that dagger, by the way? We did it. After you, Dragon. You should have the honor of being the first to see the golden sky. Yeah, especially uh, because I literally know. don't need you people. Inside. Well, let's see, shall we? There's only one way to find out what's inside. <laughs> to just basically echo what Esbern just said. You guys gonna set these where are you guys at? You guys already in here? Probably. They're probably already in here. Ooh. So I remember this room, but I didn't remember everything previously, which is interesting. Because I've only done it once. Whereas I've done a lot of the other stuff in this game many times, such as uh, the Thieves Guild, the Dark Brotherhood, of course. Are you guys in here now? Hey, how's it going? I, I want to hear your dialogue. So I will wait on that. 
Original Akaviri bar reliefs. Almost entirely intact. Yeah, you can study art history a little bit later. We kind of have a world to save, Esbern. So if we could, you know, get this thing Amazing. a moving. You can see how the Akaviri craftsmen were beginning to embrace the more flowing Nordic style. Really? Would Let me come to that conclusion well, myself. Right, uh, yes, of course. We'll have more time to look around later, I suppose. Let's see what's up ahead. Is this supposed to be... Well, these two are the same exact thing. Unless this thing he's talking about. That looks a little more archaic. But this is the same exact thing as this. I'll take your word for it. Is there a word over here? Oh, there is, isn't there? Maybe we need to activate it. Baldwin's wall, so well preserved. Huh? I've never seen a final example of early second era Kaviri sculpture and relief. Yes, we need information. Not Let's see what we have. Look, here is Alderman. This panel goes back to the beginning of time. When Alduin and the Dragon Cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebelled against their Dragon Overlord, the legendary Dragon War. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory, a mythic symbol. Of course, like why not just say on a yes, piece of paper how to beat Alduin? Coming from the mouths of the North Hills, this is the Akaviri shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Oh yes, presumably something rather specific to dragons, or even Alduin himself. Remember. This is where they recorded all the new of old wind and his turn. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? No, I've never heard of anything like that. I was afraid you were going to say that. I guess there's nothing for it. We'll have to ask the Greybeards for help. I hope to avoid involving them in this, but we have no other choice. What do you have against the Greybeards? If they had their way, you'd do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Hmm, so Delphine is vying for more power and me allowing to use all of it. And the Greybeards are apparently, from her perspective, stifling that power. Interesting. Don't worry, I'm not afraid of my own power. Good. The Greybeards can teach you a lot, but don't let them turn you away from your destiny. You're Dragonborn. And you're the only one who can stop Alduin. Don't forget it. I'd better go see what Arngear knows about this shout. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Akaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they need their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last Dragonborn contends with Alduin at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. Okay, and it looks like that's about it for Skyhaven Temple. I was going to say Dragonborn Temple. It's pretty much that. 
Now, I don't remember if there's anything in here that we want to explore. We can go out to Skyrim, so remind me to exit through this way. Remind me, send me a telepathic note from all of your brains at once. Right now, do it. Okay, I got it. Thank you, guys. Uh, I will get it in, in a second when I need to do it. But I don't know if I fully explored this like the last time I was here. You can see there's a whole bunch of chests, which obviously are just going to have... Ooh, that was a little stutter there. Which obviously is going to have a bunch of gold, probably. I don't think there's a wall in here other than Alduin's wall, which I mistakenly thought would give us a shout. But obviously that is not the case. Yeah, it just looks like another Greybeard Temple or High Hrothgar where it's a cool place, but nothing really of interest in any nook or cranny. So thank you guys for reminding me. I will head out into Skyrim through these doors and see where these lead because I'm not sure. Although I last time I was here, I must have exited through these because why would I turn back and go the other way? Okay, here's Skyhaven Temple, obviously. And can we activate some sort of like marker to lead us back up to the top? When we come back here, aren't we going to have to like go through that entire dungeon again? Although there's not too much. Whoa! Whoa! I just realized this looks a lot like uh, Cloud Ruler Temple from Oblivion, where you go meet the Blades. Uh, and Oblivion takes place, I forget when, I think 400 years before Skyrim. So yeah, that looks a lot like that. And you think about it. Uh, 400 years was like longer than America has been around. So obviously a lot of stuff can happen in 400 years. So, uh, you know, I know this is completely a completely different universe, but still. Uh, anyways, we need to talk to Arngear, which is interesting because we have not been back to High Hrothgar or the Throat of the World for a very, very long time. I wonder how they're going to treat me being a vampire. Well, they're not going to know. Are they? Klimic supplies are still in there. We put those in there like at the start of the game. <laughs> way back when. Way back before we were on part 79, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. In here are the Greybeards. And by the way, Esbern has to be voiced by the Three-Eyed Raven, whoever plays that character in Game of Thrones, right? I'm not even going to verify it when I edit this video because only that man has that voice. It's so... I don't know how to describe it, but it's very unique. Hello Sk there. Sky above, voice within. I need to learn the shout used to defeat Alduin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Does it matter? Yes. For matters of such gravity, we need to know where you stand. Or who you stand with. Who I stand with is my business. If you wish to stand alone, so be it. If you wish for our help, you will answer my question. Where did you learn of a shout used to defeat Alduin? It was recorded on Alduin's wall. The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? The Blades are helping me. I'm not their puppet. No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. So, can you teach me this shout? No. I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. If the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alduin? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. I need to speak to Parthenax, then. You weren't ready. You still aren't ready. But, thanks to the Blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. Why haven't I met Parthenax yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. 
Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. How do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Yet again, we're going to learn a new shout from the Greybeards. First, it was Unrelenting Force. And then we, uh, they gave us the power to learn that without having to use Dragon Souls. Then they taught me Whirlwind Sprint, which we haven't really used too much because I guess we have access to the Vampire Lord. And we could use Bats, and we have Shadow Mare. We don't really need to... Although I used Whirlwind Sprint quite a bit in my 100% playthrough uh, off-camera to get around faster. Uh, they only teach you the first word, though, and then you have to get the other two parts of the word. Which takes a little bit out of it. Uh, and now we're going to learn a third shout. Unfortunately, it's not Dragon Rend, which is one of the coolest shout names. But it's something that will allow us to reach the top of the mountain and talk to the mysterious Parthenax. So I'm going to let them all go out first because I usually like to do that. Because sometimes when you exit, it feels like it might get a little stuck. But here they all are. Hurry up, old man, and teach me the words. And if you remember, I think the last time we tried to go through that archway, we were unable to because of the harsh wind. And in fact, it severely damaged us, which makes me think... If we go back over here... It is damaging us. Take a look at that. Now, we can't move forward. But our health is slowly draining, and our stamina, but not our magicka. This should be a way to grind out restoration, shouldn't it? Let's take a look at what restoration is at right now. Okay, it's right at the edge of the bottom left of the T. Okay, so let's use fast healing a couple more times. I think it's dependent on how much health you heal, so obviously this takes quite a bit of time. Maybe if we took off all of our clothes, we, were t we would be able to take more damage. Oh no, they've been talking this whole time. That's not good. Uh, let's take a look at restoration again. And... Indeed, it is increasing very slowly, however. Oh, I didn't realize y'all were doing the thing already. Okay, so we are learning clear skies, and now we have all three versions of the word. Clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Now, how is he giving me that? Because I, you're not able to do that in any other way. Am I supposed to be getting y'all souls too? Clear skies will throw away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. It's kind of weird, though, because it's it's almost like they're splitting parts of their soul and giving it to me. I mean, that's how the dragon souls work, but I don't think that's what's happening. Okay, so it would probably be good to save or to wait until nighttime. In fact, that's probably really smart, because our stamina is completely gone. And because we're a vampire, obviously, we want to... I think... I forget how this works, but I think it might be a sort of thing where you have to activate clear skies and then run and then activate it again, etc., etc. So, just in case that's how it is, I'm going to wait until nighttime so our stamina regenerates. We're going to go into shouts. There's clear skies. Skyrim itself yields before the Thuum as you clear away fog and inclement weather. Most boring, crappiest shout of all time <laughs> I, I think this is the only use you know there's probably other uses and i think it does actually change the weather but i don't think this really matters like too much at all uh we're gonna go ahead and save the game here though before we embark on our journey since we are about a minute off and also when we meet parthenax we'll probably have a lot to talk about you know what i mean so i'm gonna save this game once more even though i just did to make absolute sure that i did Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Be happy.